Hey guys, I'm about to walk to Whole Town today. It's about a mile away. And I'm going to shoot a little video showing you all the different things that I see along the way. Here we go. The first thing up here we see is a garden center. They sell everything, including palm trees. I was wondering, what if I bought a palm tree and just planted it in, in my rental property's front yard? Would my landlord notice? Would they have it removed? It's a palm tree. I don't know. I'll look into that. We've got a gated community here. It looks like a bunch of houses for sale. Pretty sure they're all out of my price range, so we'll keep moving on here. All right, we're about 150, 200 yards away from Highway 1, which goes along the coast. And as I'm walking closer here, you'll see that there's just a random herd of sheep. Hope I don't spook them if I can get a little closer here. Uh, I've been told that they're owned by a, a, quote, local Rastafarian man who lets them out every morning. He doesn't own the land, but the sheep are pretty docile and they don't hurt anybody. So I think it's all right. And there they go. They are self-governed sheep. They go right back to wherever they belong. All right, we're here at the intersection of the road I live on and Highway 1, which goes up and down the western coast, all the way from the top to the bottom, I believe. This is one of the busier roads, and you'll see it, it's only a two-lane highway. But there are buses, there's traffic all over the place. That right there is the entrance to a resort and the entrance to the beach. A lot of the beach entrances are not clearly marked. You kind of have to, have, have to know where they are. And that way is north. But Whole Town is south. And here's where I had lunch the other day at a really great tasting street side vendor. And I had a fish cutter, which is a fish sandwich. And he's making the uh, fish cakes right now. I had fish cakes as well. It was all great. And a Sprite. Yes, ma'am. Oh, here's the menu. And all of these prices are in Barbados dollars. Uh, so for those Americans at home, you would divide by two to get the US dollar price. It's going to be really tempting not to order lunch every single time I walk by here. <laughs> Happens all the time. Happens all the time, yeah. He knows, you know good business. You get people walking by. Yeah. And the smell is incredible. I wish I could tell you what it smells like or wish I could share the smell with you, but it is great. Yeah. All right. All Catch you later. You. All right. I'm here at the oldest church in Barbados. How old is it? Apparently 1629, and it looks like they still have church services here, but they keep the grounds quite well kept. The question I have is, how did they build it in 1629 when the, I assume they're European missionaries, when they came over, they didn't bring a construction crew with them. Did they get help from the locals? Did they just slowly build it all to themselves? I don't know. We've got the other side of the church here. All along the right side of the road here, the beach side, we have resorts like the Sandpiper. And it looks beautiful. Coconut water is good for hydration. Very where good, where good. are these coconuts from? Uh, as you see, you are in Barbados, so these are Bar Barbadian coconuts, and they are from all over the island. All over the island? Yeah, we drive all over the island to harvest them. And, um, and here for wow. How many coconuts do you go through in one day? Yeah, sometimes about 2,000 coconuts. 2,000? Yeah, sometimes about that. Sometimes 15, sometimes 1,000. It all varies on the day. Yeah, Hot, the hotter the day, the more you sell. The hotter the day, the more coconuts sell. Wow. But, uh, so how do you know when the coconut's ready to be opened up? I mean, basically by the time. So we basically give them like eight weeks, which is uh, probably 40 days. And within 40 days, they get rainfall. They do mature. 
I'm ready for harvest. Wow. And uh, how long does the coconut water last in the fridge? The coconut water can last up to a week in the fridge or even longer. Once you have a good fridge and that's the gel inside of it. Nice and creamy. Yeah, wow. delicious. Wow. Give you something to eat. Nice. Here's the gel. From another spoon. This is a spoon. Just wash it off. Yeah. And there's the gel. Soft and nice. Wow, look at that. Delicious. Okay. Well, I bought a half gallon of coconut water. Freshest coconut water you're ever going to get. $13 for a half gallon, Barbados dollars. What a deal. What you notice on your walk to Whole Town is that along the road there are a lot of these old houses that have been converted into small businesses. We've got a realty and a ladies boutique. Boy, this traffic is making it really hard to shoot this video. <laughs> All right, here is the what I would consider the very beginning of Whole Town. And the first thing you notice is that there are a lot of higher-end shops. Uh, let's see, Michael Kors, Tom Ford. This is Lime Grove, which is the big, big, big kind of shopping mall area. It's got Cartier. It's closed right now. Uh, I think they're a little slow to opening up after the February shutdown. You got Ralph, good old Ralph. And normally these gates are open. So you walk right in. Three floors. There's a there are two cinemas. And I'll do a separate video on this place alone. It's quite cool. They have a bunch of open areas like this. We're here, right in the middle of Whole Town. Right now it looks like it's about to start raining, so I gotta head home. What yeah. kind of fish is this now? Marlin. Marlin? Yeah. Fresh caught today? No, caught yesterday. Caught yesterday, wow. Yeah. You practically hear the sizzle. Yeah, Man, look at that. Two fish cutters. They say they call them cutters. Which is another word just for sandwich or... Oh, that is going to taste delicious.